talk about doing uh, Snell's law to solve for the angle beta. And uh, got the question right here. Light is traveling from substance one to substance two. That's what the arrows are pointing towards, substance two. Whereas substance two is down here and substance one is up here. Let's change colors there. Let's go for a nice blue. So substance two is down here. Substance one is up here. And N1 is the refractive index of substance one. N2 is the refractive index of substance two. And according to Snell's law, as you go from the material one to material two, the angle changes and it is related to the uh, ratio of the refractive indices. All right. So, um, so let's go ahead and plug everything in. So we're asking what is the angle of refraction B, beta, sorry. And so I'm just going to solve this for beta. So let's see, I'm going to uh, cross multiply. So that's going to be N1 sine alpha equals N2 sine beta. And then I'm going to divide both sides by N2. So I get sine beta equals, and I'll just go ahead and plug the numbers in here. It's going to be N1, which is 1.00 times sine of 40 degrees divided by N2, which is given as 1.43. Now I've got my calculator here. <clears throat> and uh, I've got my calculator, and it's got to be set to degrees. And my calculator says DEG on it which means that when I put in 40 as the degrees, it will tell me the sign. And I've got a sign button right here, S-I-N. So let's see, so it's gonna be uh, 40, sign, and I get 0.64278, but I'm just gonna go 0.643. And um, let's go ahead and solve this now. So it's basically 0.643 divided by 1.43, which gives me 0.4496 or 0 0.450. And then the next question is, how do we get rid of sine beta? And the way in which we do that is uh, right above your sign button, there's probably one that says sign to the minus one. So you're, and you're gonna have to hit the shift button to make that happen. So I'm actually just gonna, I have 0.449 something, but I'm gonna put 0 0.450, and then I'm gonna hit shift, and then it's gonna be sign to the minus one. And I get 26.7 degrees. So beta equals 26.7 degrees. And that's the answer that's got right here. Uh, so that's how you do it, and one hint is the larger the refractive index, the closer the angle, or the smaller the angle will be.